Hi everyone, today we are looking at the topic water and in this topic we will look at the term density. So first we will define what density is and then we will look at what is the density of water and as you will find in this lesson that there is a very very unusual property about the density of water and then we will look at how that helps the life on earth to survive. So first let's look at what is the what does density mean? So density of a liquid water is divided uh, as um, defined as mass divided by volume. So as you can see the density is equals to mass divided by volume and now in this case mass is measured in kilograms or grams and the volume is measured is in cubic meters or cubic centimeters. So therefore if the mass which is in kilograms and it is divided by a uh, volume which is in meter cube so the uh, formula for the unit for density will be kilograms per meter cube or if you write it in terms of grams and centimeter cube the unit will be grams per centimeter cubes so what is density density is the mass of a substance divided by the volume it occupies now let's look at the density of water so at the room at a room temperature water is approximately 1 grams now what does that mean that means that 1 cubic centimeter of water also 1 mil has a mass of 1 gram or 1 cubic meter of water has a mass of 1000 uh, kilograms per centimeter cube now let's look at how temperature and density relates to each other so it says that as the temperature of a substance increases it expands and therefore the volume increases and why is that the case because when you add more heat to a substance the molecules of the substance starts moving uh, a lot so the molecule starts vibrating and moving and as a case they need more space to, um, uh, more space to uh, leave because of that movement and therefore the volume increases now if you look at the formula for density density equals to uh, mass divided by volume so if your vo volume increases you can see that density and volume are inversely proportional and therefore your density should decrease and that's what we will see in the following section so let's look at that fact so as a result the density of the substance decreases again we know it because that volume and density are inversely proportional and therefore it decreases due to the increase of volume while the mass remains constant again you need to ensure that your mass remains constant and then only volume and density can correlate with each other so most of the substances increase in density when they freeze now why is that because when solid freeze the molecules come close together and they remain compact and they are arranged in an orderly state and therefore most substances when they are solid they occupy less space and again because density and volume are inversely related therefore if volume decreases the density should increase so for most substances in the um, case when they are becoming solid and when they freeze their density um, increases as a fact because their volume decreases and that occurs during the freezing process so you can see as you will see that the water's density is very unusual that's because water expands when it changes from a liquid to solid state and you will soon, soon find out why so let's look at the density so the density of solid ice you can see is 0 0.9167 grams per cubic centimeter whereas the density of liquid water is 0 0.9998 grams per cubic centimeter so that as you can see from this table then the density of ice is much lower than the density of water now what does that mean so the second unusual way uh, unusual property of density is that liquid water is cooled when liquid water when you cool it it density increases until it reaches 4 degrees Celsius so from that graph you can see that at 4 degrees Celsius it increases in maximum point of 1 uh, kilogram per uh, grams per centimeter but below this temperature the density decreases 
Now let's look at this table again emphasizing on the fact. So as you can see that when the temperature is decreasing the um, density of water is increasing. So it starts from 0 0.9584 at 100 degrees Celsius and it increases to a maximum when it gets to 4 degrees Celsius. So it increases to uh, 1 grams per centimeter cube. But again, as the temperature continues to decrease, so at 0 degrees Celsius, when uh, it's still in its liquid state, you can see that the um, density has decreased to 0 0.9998 grams per cubic centimeter, up to minus 2 when it's at minus 2 and ice, the density is 0 0.9170. So as you can see that after 4 degrees Celsius, the density of water is actually decreasing even though the temperature is decreasing as well. So this tells us again that ice is much less than water, much less in density than water. So again we saw that the maximum density is at 4 degrees Celsius. So the maximum density of water at 4 degrees Celsius is 1. Now this is very important in nature as the lakes and rivers in cold climates do not completely freeze. And why is that? Because you know that ice is less dense than water. So if you take a glass of water and you put ice in it, the ice will remain at the top of the water, so at the top of the glass, it won't sink to the bottom. That is because ice is less dense than water. So therefore the ice will float on the surface of water. And this provides an insulating layer. Because the ice is on the top of the water, the bottom of the water is insulated, so the temperature of the bottom of the water does not decrease as much, so the water beneath the ice still remains liquid. So all of the lake and all of the rivers don't completely freeze, yet the water still remains liquid and because the ice is insulating it from the top. And that means that aquatic life can still survive in winter seasons because again not completely not all of the lake and river freezes only the top part does the uh, water beneath it where the aquatic organisms live is still liquid and the temperature is not as low so it's still suitable for aqu aquatic organisms to survive now let's look at why the density of uh, ice is so sm uh, small compared to water so as again, we know that ice is less dense than liquid water at the same temperature. So we looked at at 0 degrees Celsius, the liquid water still has a higher density, uh, density than solid ice. Now as you can see in the diagram, the ice has a very crystalline structure. So you can see that it is organized in the form of crystals. And also that you can see that there is no water molecules beneath the crystals because they need to form that hexagonal shape, they need to form that tetrahedral array. And why is that the case? Because as you will see that each water molecule in ice is surrounded by four other water molecules. So you can see there is a water molecule in the middle and each of that water molecule is surrounded by four different water molecules and they are arranged in a tetrahedral array. So this structure is held together by hydrogen bonding and again emphasizing on the fact that because they are arranged in the tetrahedral array and by hydrogen bonding, the bonds can't break and the water molecules can't uh, fill in the spaces in between. So therefore, there, has, there have to be spaced out, they have to have the uh, tetrahedral array. And as a result, the solid takes up much more volume. Again, we know that volume and density is inversely proportional proportional so if the volume increases the density should decrease and as a result solid ice has a much lower density than water. Now this brings us to the end of the theory session. Let's look at some of the questions to test your knowledge. So first up question 16 asks you why does the density of substances usually decrease when temperature increase? Now again we looked at the fact that as temperature increases most substances expand, that is their volume increases. And why is that the case? Because as the temperature increases, the molecules in the substance start to move a lot, they start to vibrate a lot and therefore they're taking up much space, they're taking up more volume and as a result their volume increases. So density is defined as mass divided by volume. So as a result if a substance is heated and its volume increases, again volume and density is inversely proportional so that means that um,
the volume will uh, cause the density to decrease but the mass stays the same and so again because the mass is constant and only the volume increases so our density should decrease. So that's why the density of substances usually decrease when the temperature increases. Now let's look at question 17. Question 17 asks you if the density of ice at minus 2 degrees Celsius is 0 0.9 grams per centimeter cube, what would be the mass of 1 liter of ice at this temperature? Now we need to find the mass and we know the formula for density is density equals to mass divided by volume. So we already have the density which is 0 0.9 one seven grams per centimeter cube as given in the question so that's our density and what is our um, mass so our volume would be so as it's one centimeter per cube is same as one mils and one uh, dm per cube is the same as one liter so there is a thousand mils in one liter as you would know so our mass would is mass is what we need to find so our volume is a thousand mil and now how do we find the mass? If we uh, convert, make the mass a subject and we change the, um, change the things around so we can times the density by volume, a thousand mils, and that will give us the mass. So to find the mass, what you're doing, you are timesing the density with the volume. And as a result, you can get that the answer is 917 grams. So if the density of ice at minus 2 degrees Celsius is 0 0.917 grams per centimeter cube, the mass of 1 liter of uh, ice at this temperature would be, as our answer tells us, 917 grams, uh, grams um, of ice will be present at this temperature. Now let's look at um, question 18. Question 18 tells you to explain the unusual variation in the density of water as a function of temperature. Now they're asking you why there is a variation, why is it unusual, um, why is unusual, why is the density unusual uh, according to different temperatures. So as water cools to 4 degrees Celsius, it contracts as expected and therefore the density increases because again, volume and density is inversely related so if the volume decreases the density should increase and we also know that at 4 degrees celsius water gets to its highest density that is 1 grams per centimeter cube so cooling from 4 degrees celsius causes the density to decrease as the water expands which is different to the behavior of most other compounds again why is that the case because we we heard, we saw the ice needs to exist in a tetrahedral, tetrahedral array, so it needs to maintain its crystalline lattice, and therefore it takes up much more volume than liquid water, and therefore its density is much lower than liquid water. Now let's look at question 19. Question 19 asks you, at what temperature is water most dense? See if you can remember, water is most dense at 4 degrees Celsius, and the density of water at 4 degrees Celsius is 1 grams per centimeter cube. And therefore, water is most dense at 4 degrees Celsius. Now let's look at the last question, question 20. Question 20 tells you to explain why the density of ice is different from the density of liquid water. So if you can remember, in ice, the water molecules are held together very steadily by hydrogen bonds. So there is one water molecule and then there is four water molecules surrounding it and the, all of them are connected together by hydrogen bonds and they form a regular pattern of honeycomb-like network. So they have a crystalline lattice, a certain crystalline lattice and forms a tetrahedral structure. So this results in empty space in the center of each hexagon. Again, if you can think back in the diagram, there were spaces between each of the hexagon formed by the water molecules, which is absent in the more random arrangement of molecules in liquid water. So in the case of liquid water, the molecules are held together by very small dispersion forces, so those forces are very weak. So the water molecules can take up the empty spaces in the liquid form and take up the shape of the container. So they take up as much less volume as possible and as a result, 
the density of liquid water is much higher and also the density of ice which is in solid form is much lower because its volume is much higher. Now this brings us to the end of the theory session and in this session we looked at the fact that what is density? So density is the mass of a substance divided by the volume it occupies and we also saw looked at the fact that the density of water is very unusual because um, unlike the other substances, when water is in solid form, its density decreases.